never had such a success of a Swedish movie ever in the history of uh, Swedish filmmaking. Um, sales of tickets on cinema and the DVD sales and uh, the TV uh, viewers, approximately 120 million people have so far seen the Swedish uh, Millennium films. The Millennium effect on Stockholm, on the small scale we can see that there are guided tours, you can buy a map and follow in the footsteps of the main characters in the films, but also it affects tourism on the greater scale. If you look at the years 2009 till 2013, we expect that about 430 million kroner will be invested by tourists in Stockholm. We made this uh, report uh, on, on behalf of, for example, Film Norwegian, uh, Stockholm Mälardalen, and they wanted to uh, to be able to see what kind of direct effects actually film production contribute to a region. The marketing value of the Millennium uh, Trilogy for the region of Stockholm exposed through the film we've estimated to 960 million Swedish crowns. And we came to these figures using the same model as you use when you're uh, counting on product placement and seeing how many very uh, clear Stockholm exposure are you able to identify the Stockholm depiction? Are you able to see through the films? And how big audience are being reached through these, these pictures? There's a lot of different effects of, of the Millennium Trilogy being filmed here. Um, one of the main thing is that we don't have un any unemployed film workers here right now. Everybody is working. There's a lot of films being shot here. And uh, the city council actually understands the importance and of filmmaking here and they understand that it's business. The Millennium Effect has been extremely good for the, the Stockholm region and we hope that it's going to continue with new films of course.